Now, 27 storm trap weather with meteorologist Max Saparis. Hi everyone, we got an incoming cold front. That is going to be the culprit for some storms later today. You can already see those clouds building in as we check out the view from the UW campus. This camera is atop the Atmospheric Science Building looking to the west. There's the lights at Camp Randall already on as they get ready for a big day. We could have some storms as we get later into the afternoon before we end on a drier note. Here's a check in on the temps at this hour. We're at 58 in Madison, 60 in Watertown, 52 for Lone Rock and Boscobel. Morning to Reedsburg, also 52 to kick off your Saturday. Heading to the Badgers game, well, they're taking on Georgia Southern at 11 a.m. this morning, and there is a stray shower chance for tailgating. I wouldn't even pack the umbrella for that, but after the game, as we're ending at, you know, let's say 2 o'clock onward, that's when we'll be seeing the chance for storms developing with temps mild in the mid-70s. So we already see a couple storms popping here on radar last six hours. One was out towards Rochester, got a couple more lightning strikes over near the Quad Cities, and there's one stray shower to track in our region. Very light in nature, but areas near Walworth out towards Elkhorn south into the town of Walworth getting in on a couple of those light showers. Most of the region should be dry until later this afternoon though. So here we are by your lunch hour showing a straight shower chance generally on the east side of the state this morning and then as we get into the afternoon the heating of the day popping up those storms as that cold front triggers them as that moves on in. So soonest chance for rain will be about three o'clock for a higher chance then by around six or seven you see that in the Madison region. So I think the game is dry. It's as we're enjoying hopefully a big Badger W that we're going to be talking about those storms popping up. Overnight, then we still have a few more showers and storms to track as the system slowly departs. Maybe a stray shower to kick off your Sunday, but most of tomorrow drier. 75 today with storms popping up this afternoon and evening uh, with a uh, chance for some heavier rain and some briefly high winds. The severe weather threat should stay south of the state line overall though. Overnight low 50s with rain chances ending late and tomorrow will be cooler. Upper 60s, partly sunny, maybe a stray shower in the morning. Otherwise pretty dry tomorrow. So better for outdoor plans all day tomorrow, but today is the warmer of the two weekend days, so kind of a trade off there. Mid 70s today with a higher chance for showers and storms this afternoon and evening. We'll be in the low 70s by Monday, jump to the mid 70s Tuesday and have low 80s on the way before the start of fall next midweek.